Welcome everybody to another 144 analytics video on how to use the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, today we're going to do a little follow up on Tesla once again, one of our favorite stocks. Uh, we're going to do Ethereum, cattle, and uh, corn. And each of these are going to have at least one or two or more 78.6% uh, retracements and what you should be looking for from them. Looking at Tesla here to start, uh, we left it back in April here that uh, this market had been going down, been stopped by retracements. Each time it attempted to rally, went right into an, one or another, giving us how far the market should go, making new lows, if it should go from 61 to 61, from 78 to 78.6%. So in this case, we left it here that until it could take out a 38% retracement back to this high, the market was still down, and that you should just look for the 78.6 level down below. We were trading right in here, and uh, you can go back and listen to those videos just as well. In fact, uh, what did we have? It was, you need this in your analysis um, back in April and it dealt with uh, Tesla, then we did a follow-up after that. So anyway, here's what happens. We hit the 78.6%. Now, knowing that, we know now that the target or long-term target on something like that is 78.6 of where it came from. This all the way up here back at the uh, this major GAN square around the 268. So this has been our long-term target now. Uh, since this level held and you can see here 38 percent back to this high stopped this market and turned it sideways for over two months before we've had this acceleration move right now so this is our target up here based on that we'll watch all the retracements back down to here to see just how weak or strong the market is and as long as we're holding that 38%, based on the 38% rule, that's our golden rule, that any market that's going to have a direction should hold that retracement. In this case, uh, we're looking for that 78. Now, uh, if this market still goes on an even bigger acceleration, we still have another 78 to deal with. And that goes back from here when it hit 78.6% of the all-time high and the all-time low. And that was telling us we should go 78.6 back to here. And that's all the way up here at 346. So that's our long-term target. Our short-term is just a complete of the 78 here, or this 78 here to this 78 is still up in here. But if they get into something accelerated, look for the other 78% uh, long-term uh, target to be met and that's up there at that three, 345 area something like that um, so now the next thing that we wanted to show you again with these 78.6 percent retracements is um, this one is the uh, it's Ethereum Okay, and now we can look at uh, the 78.6. What that was is of the all-time high and the 2000 or 2022 low to the all-time high hit exactly 78.6. Now the long-term target would be 78.6 back down. That's down here at 1600. But we're watching all the retracements. And what happened here was, well, it went to 23%, got one close under it, right back above it. That's always okay. But all it could do was 61.8 of this move here. Then down to the long-term swing point. Again, what we just said, 38.2. Got to hold that in order to keep the trend intact. And uh, so, again, we're watching all the retracements back up. It hit 38 back to that high, came back down to this low again, 38% held the long-term swing point, should have made new highs. Now the 78.6 rule, any market that fails to make a new high after holding a retracement down below, and that happens to come in the 78.6% level, gives you one of two targets, uh, and possibly both of them. First one is just to go 78.6 back the other way, which was this high, 
to this low in here, which we just hit today. So we're watching this level here, and if this level holds, uh, well, 78.6 rule says we should go 78.6 the other way, which would take you up about to the 3802, and that's also a major GAN square. Uh, any market that would hold this level that couldn't get above 38% is a negative sign. Now, a failure to turn up from this area right now, just based on the 38% rule, is always then to look for 61.8, and that's going to be down here at 21. 2136 but again that being 78 percent up here it still could go all the way down as low as 6 uh, 1612 uh, so that's something to watch that's just how you can see where the retracements are hitting it's just it's one of the best things you can use and then with our rules and guidelines it helps you that much more as to what um, what you could look for from those levels. So now I want to just go into the cattle, just showing you this is in everything. It, it, it doesn't matter what uh, you're dealing with, what market, the stock, anything. So uh, what we had here was this 23% back on the uh, August continuation chart had set us all the way back um, should have sent us to new highs we got very close on the uh on the august itself the nearby contract actually hit it and then that sent us 78.6 the other way which we would be looking for and then again we would be looking from this 78.6 the other way which it eventually um, did fulfill but uh in between there you can see you know fell a little short of 61.8 then it came back down to a 78.6 retracement again. Another big run up, and that one completed the 78.6 from this one to here. And then we would have been looking for 78.6 the other way. And as you see, because we say we watch all the retracements, if it holds, it holds. And uh, then you know something else is happening. In this case, it held 38% trend is intact that they have going regardless of what the long-term target was from this it held 38.2 percent which means the market's in you know got a direction went on to new highs but here now we're dealing with a 78.6 retracement from the contract high to this low in here so what's the target 78.6 of this whole move here but again, we're going to watch all these retracements in here and uh, anything that um, can't get below. Well, actually, we've got to go back down to this low because that's the extreme of this move. And uh, anything that can't get below 181.80 keeps this market extremely strong, despite the fact that we think it has the potential to go down to 169 area. And again, if 38 holds, it still just keeps this general trend all intact on the upside. So now we'll take it to the last one here, and that will be the hogs again, just showing you. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> corn. Uh, corn and how it's in every market. So we did the cattle, we did. You know we're going to do corn here we've done the ethereum you know a cryptocurrency and we've done tesla one of the wildest stocks around and so with the dece corn we can just see that the market um, each of these highs is coming into the retracements uh, retracements some are holding down in here uh, when what you have to watch when you're taking out everything down below is what becomes more important is what's above it and vice versa if if you're just in a runaway market then that's what you've got to watch that's all you have is what's above it to to measure it if it can't get above 23 percent the market remains very negative and as long as it stays below 38 percent it means the trend is still intact of the direction it's going so here we have uh, this market comes down it attempted to go 23 percent back to the contract high which actually was higher than what you're seeing on this chart and uh, it should have gone on to make a new low all it could do was go 61.8 of that move right here 
so you can see that should send us at least 61.8 the other way and then it even put us to a new high but what's that new high um, we we'll measure that back to here and you can see what stopped this mark at 38 percent to this this high right here back in june of last year so i mean it just nails this thing and um, you had one close above it then right back below it uh, one close is always is, is okay so again we're measuring the other way uh, just how weak if this thing should go for new lows what are we going to watch well we're going to watch 38 percent it held that uh, but what did it do failed to make the new high right back up at the other 38 percent this also was like 78.6 of this move you know in a smaller scale saying that was the end of that run and that took us down to 78.6 here now at this point we thought okay this is 78.6 this is where a lot of bull markets could start and end in this case we are looking for it to start you can see back up here in uh, last July it ended at that 78.6 percent retracement so again we watched every retracement as this market was rallying to say we, we were looking at least for 78.6 of this move here and uh, but knowing we have to watch all the retracements we can see the market got one close up above 38 then right back below it that's not good this was 38 saying it should go for a new low on under this one this will 38 saying this low should come out and sure enough where does the market go but it tanks right into 78.6 on our discontinuation chart and um, that's where we're at right now and that's a level that's going to hold we think that there could be a decent rally come out of this area and if not uh, we have levels below for those you'd have to become a premium member um, but again, all of this that we're just showing you here, as you can see, I mean, it's a visual as, as much as what I'm saying that you can see where all these highs and all these lows are coming and what you should be looking for with the 144 rules and guidelines. So we hope you've been enjoying these videos and learning something from them and that, uh, if you like it, uh, please uh, one subscribe to our uh, channel Two, give us a thumbs up and three and the best of all uh, if you trade in the grains or the livestock uh, please uh, become a premium member where you'll get all of this stuff well in advance we try and teach everybody um, why well we want everyone to know why we think what we think so that uh, you're better able to know the potential for moves and, and what we're looking for and why. So hopefully uh, this has been helping you. And uh, until our next video, good trading.